everybody I'd like to share with you this album I made and it's based on lovely Scrappin's um, folded pocket page mini album I'll put the link in the information below and I use these this paper pad here and it's uh, nature by K and company and some of these um, additional embellishments and Okay, I left the cover kind of plain. I really love the butterfly and just added a few of those embellishments on there. And the basic premise of this album is that each of these pages is one sheet of paper, double-sided paper, two-sided paper, and it's folded so it gives you the pocket here and pocket here and the center pocket. And then that's about it. It's just that the paper it's so pretty and it turns out so nice that I made this for someone who likes uh, butterflies and flowers and landscaping. Gave her a little bit of uh, notebook paper to write on and some of these inserts that she can um, put pictures on. The paper is so pretty on both sides. Uh, I just didn't really have to, didn't feel like I wanted to embellish it a lot. Um, just left it plain and she can do what she wants with it. And here is just from the package that I showed you earlier. Here's some uh, kind of freeform writing paper for notes, or if she wants to add photographs to these papers. I started off with a stamp and ended off with a stamp just to give it some highlighting. And uh, just another piece of the paper that's so pretty and added um, just pieces along the way for her to be able to do what she wants with it. So there's six pockets, six pages, and it just keep, continues on this way. Uh, all, I've added papers um, in each of the sections in different types, and here's graph paper where she can lay out landscaping designs. There's another pocket, and here you can keep track of um, banking information, or I don't know, if she has a business of, of some kind and keeps track of sales or orders. Here's the cover sheet also, repeated in the book. And it's, it's interesting how the other side of the paper gives you a whole different look to this page. Here, this edged, this divider page for more paper just to make it a little more interesting and I ended up with a vellum envelope and just included a little bit of the uh, scrap pieces that I ended up with and a few more embellishments that she can uh, add to her book wherever she feels she might want to add something and it's bound with the Zutter binding tool to bind it all and that was really that works out really well goes together fast. You don't have to really worry about um, how your binding turns out, you know, how the back edge of the book turns out. That's it. Thanks.